Hey guys, welcome back once again to Niagara Fire Corals. If you're looking to start out a super simple setup, then this series is going to be for you. Go, go. All right, guys, before we get into the main part of the video, I just want to say a special thank you to March over at Frag Box Corals. He's the one that's helped to bring this series to life. Uh, he helped me along with a Studio 12 with the pricing on it, gave me a great deal, and that's what this series is going to be about. If you're looking to start up a super easy tank setup, you're new to the hobby, or you just want something new, this series is going to be for you. The tank won't get much simpler than what I'm going to do with this Studio 12. I'm really excited to bring this series to you guys. So let's get into building this tank. All right, guys, so here we are. I just got the tank out of the box it was shipped in. This is the Reef Casa Studio 12. And I'm super excited about this tank. I'll take you around the back, show you some of the specifications of the tank. So you can see it's a 12 gallon. It's got its built-in filtration. And then you can see what comes with the, with the tank when you buy it. We're gonna pull this tank out. We're gonna have a look at everything. We'll see how well built they are. And uh, we're gonna start putting this system together. So you can see here, guys, it just opened a box very well packaged you can see there's a nice gap between in case something slightly punctures the box it's hopefully not going to break your aquarium and everything is well wrapped and secure very very nice so we're going to get this out of the box and uh, I'll show you guys the tank all right guys we got it all unwrapped See the beautiful seams. Tank is very, very well built. Take you all the way around. Nice big compartments in the back. Lots of room for filtration. So I just want to start out by saying this is the Reef Casa Studio 12. And what I purchased was just the tank. You can purchase these as full kits. One thing where these tanks shine is you can, I'm gonna put a link in the description below uh, for both Reef Casa and Fragbox Corals where you guys can pick these, these tanks up or the actual kits. If you were to purchase a kit, they send you everything from your sand, your rock, your hydrometer, your heater, thermometer, um, filtration, you name it everything you need so you can start the tank without purchasing anything else or if you're like me you just need a tank then this is what you'd want i already have lighting i already have heaters i already have all those things so i didn't need an entire kit but you can get entire kits so i just wanted to put that out there i will link it below and i'm going to show you what came with uh, when you purchase just the tank so if you remember this box here was inside of the tank when I opened it up and in this box if I can get it open it's hard to do one-handed all right we got it so inside of this box you have your pump you can see there it comes with a flare nozzle there's already tubing in the back so we have our pump so we're, we have water flow already and then we also get a one month supply of the floss i just want to show this to you guys this is kind of your filtration again if i can get this open it's hard to do one-handed so in the top of the box here we've got a little bit of carbon okay 
And then check out this. Nice laser cut. It's got the Reef Casa emblem. And that's what sits right in your, in your uh, filtration area. You see it sits right in there perfectly. And then you can put your filter floss, sits right on top of that. So everything's very, very well thought out with these systems and that's why I'm so excited to get it. One thing about this tank is the dimensions is exactly what I was looking for. So this tank here, it's 16 wide, it's 15 front to back, and then it's 11 inches tall. So what I'm gonna do with this system here is uh, kind of an idea like, like a lagoon or a, or a cove kind of rockscape. And um, we're gonna, uh, my thoughts are I wanna do all A cans on top of the rockscape which will be very, very low. And then I'm gonna do all like nice high-end mushrooms all around on the sand bed, all around that cove. So this is a perfect tank for making like a tidal pool or something along those lines. And uh, that's what we're gonna do today. So we'll, I'll show you what I have, what I'm gonna put on this tank and we'll get into putting it together. All right guys, so I got the tank in position. Uh, the one other thing I wanted to say is you can see that underneath of it, there's a, foam leveling mat that also comes with the tank when you purchase it just so you guys are aware I don't think I mentioned it earlier in the video so with that being said let's get started on putting this tank together first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to rinse off a bunch of the sand that I have uh, it is brand new sand but I like to rinse it it's not live sand by any means so rinsing it doesn't matter I just try to cut back on how much the water is going to cloud up from it so Luckily for you guys, with the magic of YouTube, there you have it. We now have sand. So what we're going to do next, I'm going to build the rockscape in here. It is, like I said, it is going to be a very low rockscape, so it's going to be super simple to do. And I am using rock, live rock, that's in the 350-gallon system. I've had rocks in my sump in there pretty well for this project for the last several months. So that rock is good and seasoned and it's live. It's gonna make this tank cycling and uh, getting into you know a fully running reef tank much quicker than if I started with everything dry. So I'm gonna go get some pieces of rock and we'll start working on the reefscape. All right guys, so I'll show you here what I got. If I can get it down in here. So this is a big container. This is all, this is all live rock that I just pulled out of the sump. And that's what we're gonna use to get this tank going. And what I'm thinking is uh, like an alcove back in here that it's gonna kind of hook around. And then it, it'll also hook this way, but it'll be much shorter on the front end here. And it'll hook around much bigger over here. So that's what I'm gonna build here. And then uh, we'll take a look at it and you guys can see if you like it. Tell me what you think.
All right, guys, so I think I'm gonna leave it like that. I like how that looks. Take you guys off of the tripod, show you the front view here. So we're gonna have A cans, maybe some scolies all up on this kind of coved rock scape, and then all in the sand everywhere all around it. We're gonna have lots of nice mushrooms. I picked up some nice bounces the other day. I have some jawbreakers. So I wanna keep this tank simple. And this is about as simple as you can get. So the next thing I'm gonna do is we'll get the pump in there and ready to go. And I am going to fill this tank up with water out of the uh, 350 gallon system. So we'll be starting with live rock and we'll be starting with the same water that this rock came out of. Okay guys, so we're gonna get the pump put in. I just popped this out of the back, off the back side of the uh, nozzle here. Just pops right off, it's pre-cut. And uh, I'm gonna get it hooked up to the pump and we'll get it put back in. All right guys, so we got the pump put in the back. Super easy. Take you in there for a closer look. I mean, everything's done for you guys with these uh, with these tanks. So I don't know if you can see it down in there, but all the uh, connections, everything is in the box ready for you. You just snap it together, super easy. All right, so I'm gonna get, uh, I'm gonna get some water and start putting some water in here and I'll show you what else we got for the tank. Here we are. We have the Reef Casa Studio 12. It's completely filled with water from my 350 gallon system. Live rock from the 350 gallon system. And fresh, which was dry sand. It wasn't live sand. So next up, we're going to put in a heater. And as you guys know from my previous build on the uh, 20 gallon nano. Sorry guys about the camera shake. I'm trying to open stuff up with my one hand here. Uh, the 20 gallon nano build. There's one product I swear by and uh, we're going to use it again on this tank. They're very inexpensive and it's not going to cost you the kind of money that a uh, you know using an apex or anything like that would cost you and a tank like this is certainly that would be overkill to have an apex. So I will also link this in the description below, but uh, we are once again, we're gonna use the Inkbird heater controller. It's got the dual, the dual heat sensors, uh, just in case one malfunctions, you got the other one and it's Wi-Fi capable. So you can control this from your phone and you'll be able to monitor your tank anywhere you are. So we're gonna, we're gonna put the ink burn on this tank to control the heater. The heater has its own thermostat as well, but I just don't trust them, so I use the ink bird. Okay, so we're gonna get the ink bird put in there, and then we'll be right back. All right guys, so I've got the ink bird. It's mounted in the back here behind the tank, so when you're in front of the tank, you're not gonna see that. And the two little probes that come with it, we're just gonna mount them right here in the back. And that's gonna let us know our water temperature. Actually gonna move them over because the light's gonna be right there in the center. We'll mount these in the back. There we go. We got those in there. And then all the wiring's gonna loop down in the back. So next up, uh, we're gonna get the light that I'm putting on here. Now, if you purchase this in a kit, you have the option. Uh, the kit will come with a uh, halo light, which is uh, part of the Reef Casa system, but you can upgrade it to a prime. Now, I already had a prime light, so that's why I didn't bother getting a light with this. So I'm gonna be putting an AI Prime 16 on here. So I'm gonna get that light and we'll start getting that set up now. Here we are, guys. We've got the prime light mounted over top. 
just center that. It's just a little off center. There we go. Then we're going to get things plugged in and get this tank running. All right, guys, kind of one of the last things we got to put in here. Picked up a brand new, it's a 100 watt heater. Be plenty for this tank. Just going to get this plugged into the ink bird and into the back of the Studio 12. All right, guys, there we have it. We have our prime light. It's mounted. I'm running it very, very low. Uh, like I said, it's just going to be acans and mushrooms in this tank, so we don't need much light for them. The only thing I have left to do now is just program the the ink bird, and I'll show you guys how quick and easy that is. And uh, we're all set. All right, guys. So I'm going to show you real quick how we'll set up this. So that's the. Let me see if I can get it to focus here. This is the ink bird for my 20 gallon nano. Of course, it doesn't want to focus for us. That's the ink bird there for our 20 gallon nano. And when I go in the ink bird act, I'll just go up here to the top corner. I'm going to hit the plus sign. And you can see there, it's already detected another ink bird. So I'm just going to put add to. And then I got to just pick my Wi-Fi network here. So you'll just pick your, your uh, Wi-Fi network. You punch in your password. And uh, then it's going to go ahead. It's going to connect. So then it tells you that the pairing is successful. Right, guys, after the pairing is successful, you just refresh. And now you can see we now have two ink birds on the app. So I'll just go into the app here. You can see it's saying the tank is at 76.9. You can go to your settings in the bottom left corner here. Settings are pretty simple. You got Fahrenheit or Celsius, continuous heating. So you, if it continues trying to heat for a long period of time, you can set that so it won't do it for more than say an hour. If there's a problem, it'll shut it off. Okay guys, so I'm gonna take you real quick through some of the features that you get with this ink bird. See right now the tank is at 77.2. Down the bottom here, you have 77 and 78, so I always set this at 77.5. And then, so that 77.5 is when the heater will start heating. 78 is when it'll shut off. And you can see, if you look at that center icon, you can see that it's currently heating right now. So the heater is on, it's warming the tank up. So that's just your basic setup there. You, I'll go into settings here. In the settings, at the very top there, you can see you can set it to either Celsius or Fahrenheit. Uh, temperature calibration. So if you had something to verify the calibration of this, you could, you could plus or minus it so it matches up. Um, I'm not going to bother with that. I know that it's relatively close, so as long as we, you know, don't see anything go crazy with that, we don't have to touch it. Um, I have the alarm value. You, you know, when you go in here, you can just scroll. You can set this to whatever you want. I set mine at 80 degrees. So at 80 degrees, I will receive an alarm. That's my high value. And at 65 degrees, I don't know why I put 65, so we'll put that to, usually put that around 75. At 75 degrees, there we go, 75 degrees, I will receive a low alarm. And then if my heater's on, it'll heat for three hours. 
and if it's heating any longer than three hours it'll alarm out it'll let me know and it'll stop heating so that's kind of a little bit of redundancy so you don't wreck your heater and once you got those settings done there's three little dots up here in the top corner right up here if you hit those you can actually go in you can see i already did it i took a picture of the studio 12 and you can put a picture in so instead of seeing the ink bird icon you'll actually see a picture of your tank and then you can see here you can name it i named mine studio 12 and you can set in a location i didn't bother doing that but um you have those options in here and then you can put offline notifications you can set up your network and uh there, there's all your settings there for it you get some pretty cool little features with the with these ink birds so i'll show you again we'll do it together just so you guys can see how easy it really is so you can see here that my my other one, the 20 gallon Nano, it still is just a picture of the ink bird. So I'm gonna click on that, go up to those three dots up the top. We're gonna hit edit. We're gonna hit this icon and then we're gonna choose to take a photo. Then we'll go over here. Okay. We took a picture of the Nano. We're gonna say okay. We like the picture, we're gonna save it. There you have it guys. Let's now put it in there. So if I go back to the beginning, There you have it. Now I have an icon of the Studio 12 and the 20 gallon Nano for the two ink birds and they're all set and ready to go. So there you have it guys. That's about as simple as a tank could be. Uh, we're gonna do uh, topping off the RO water manually which uh, should, should not be that big a deal. One single prime light or you can get the halo from Reef Casa. The reef cost a tank, a little bit of rock, a little bit of sand, and a heater. Uh, you can't get simpler than that. And uh, this tank is going to house some beautiful corals. And make sure that you guys watch for, for new updates coming out on this Reef Casa Studio 12 series in the future. And as always, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you smash that like and subscribe button below. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next time, make sure you take care and happy reefing.